This segment brought to you by Bravo Company USA. Vickers here, Vickers Tactical. Today I'm going to take you through my personal Glock training gun. This is the gun when I need to grab a Glock and head out and do a training class. This is generally the one I use. It is a Wilson Combat Vickers Elite model built on a Gen 5 Glock 17. It's a MOS version of a Gen 5 Glock 17 of which I have an adapter plate mounted for the Aimpoint Acro P1. Now I'll take you through that here in a second. Now it also has a full suite of my Tango Down Glock products. It's got my Tango Down flat trigger. It's got my Tango Down disassembly tool for a Gen 4 or Gen 5. So it's a two piece affair. You have a male female portion. It also acts as a little bit of a mag shoot. All right, coming up to the top, it's got my Tango Down Vickers Tactical Ambi slide catch. It also has my Tango Down magazine release. Up top, I've got a Trijicon HD sight up front with orange red outline and rear is plain black. Okay, Aimpoint Acro P1, been running it for a while, really love it, great piece of kit in my opinion, super rugged and reliable. I'm pretty religious on turning it off when I put it away, so this battery for me has lasted a very long time, no complaints. It has the usual stuff that Wilson Combat is doing to the Vickers Elite model. They take off the Glock factory texturing on the side and then laser engrave it with their style texturing and a V logo. Also on top, it has serrations like you see on your 1911s. They've done a trigger job. The Gen 5 shoot fantastic, so there's no need to have a match barrel. And really for the money, this gun is a great bang for the buck. One thing about the MOS, you wanna make sure you anchor the screws on the MOS plate very, very securely with very strong Loctite. The MOS is not the best mounting system in the world. It's actually, of all the manufacturers, it's one of the least desirable. So you need to be on top of that and make sure it's mounted correctly when you mount whatever optic you're using, Aimpoint Acro or anything else. A couple other pieces of kit here on the table that I've been using. Raven Concealment Per Run holster for the Glock. Good piece of kit. It's basically meant to be used left or right handed. I've set it up as a right hander and I cut off the sweat guard on the outside. Honestly, for a $39.99 holster, a really good piece of kit from Raven Concealment. Over here is a brand new piece of kit that I'm introducing with Tango Down. This is the new Glock duty magazine pouches, which were inspired by the duty magazine pouches I used back in Delta Force for the 1911. The story behind it is, I went to gun sight at one time, I saw some mag pouches, and also prior to that, I saw some mag pouches that my bud, good buddy Ken Hackathorn gave me that were made out of polymer, all right? They were Milt Sparks mag pouches for the 1911. They were never very successful. Gun sight got most of them and sold them and sold them out. We used them in Delta for a number of years. They were outstanding pieces of kit. I never saw one fail in any way, shape, or form. Recently, I dug one out to use it in a class and it reminded me how good of a piece of kit it is. So I went to my good friend, Jeff Cahill at Tango Down and said, let's resurrect this thing, put a little modern twist on it and let's do it for the Glock and then we'll take it from there and do it for other firearms. And here it is, it's now coming to the market. It comes as a double mag pouch just like this, and it's reversible, left or right hand, you can wear it either way, all right? Fits a one and three quarter inch belt loop, we're looking to possibly do a spacer till it'll properly fit a one and a quarter, or one and a half inch belt loop, all right? You can also split it if you need to into two mag pouches, it's super durable, the material is incredibly durable. On the back it says, inspired by a design from Milt Spark Holsters, we wanted to give credit where credit is due. Great piece of kit, these are gonna be on the market soon in black, and flat dark earth. All right, this is the LAV training Glock. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. We're gonna fire it up for you, of course, and doing some reloads with the mag pouches and draws from the holster. Ammo is on board from S&B 9mm ball. Stay tuned.
Hey, Larry Vickers here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click here to subscribe to the Vickers Tactical Channel and take time out to check out some of our other favorite videos.